drawing a spider sona for the next 48 hours. You can't, you can't do 48 hours. Set an alarm for 48 hours. Sorry, I can't set an alarm for more than one day ahead. What? Now, why are we even doing this to ourselves? As every artist like you and I hope for before we start this crazy and heart-wrenching and emotionally, emotionally crazy and, and everything. <laughs> this, a challenge like this. What if we ask ourselves, this challenge is the one, the one that will get rid of our art block and keep us inspired for the rest of our art making days. Now with that hope in mind, we are going to attempt and embark on our first difficulty, which is drawing a figure that looks somewhat normal on the first try and um, finding a spider to base our spider sona on. It's known for bird, it's bird dropping like smell. You wouldn't want your spider sona to be like, hi, one of my powers is I can smell like poop, huh? Wow, horns, I like that. Jumping spider, oh, it's Lucas. <laughs> that looks plastic. That looks so plastic. Like that's just one of those spider things, you know, like the pranks. That's so pretty. What? Beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh. Where does the head start? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not looking at that anymore. <laughs> no way. Like imagine you're like walking and you pick up a stick off a tree and it turns out to be a spider. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. No way. No way. There's no way there's a spider like that. I'm sorry. No way. But no, we cannot do our spider sona on this because, you know, we, we're more serious than that. A few moments later. Okay, my friend. So after much thought, I've finally come to the conclusion that we are going to be doing our spider sona based on the peacock sky spider, which we just saw. <laughs> I found this specific peacock spider and I'm drawing in the skirt right now to sort of represent the bushiness of the spider's eyebrow, eyebrows, <laughs> of the spider's legs, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is a mini watercolor thing from the art theory, which I bought for myself just as a little treat. And it's these really nice glitter watercolors and I really wanted to try them out. And look, they have like the little names on the side. They're handmade with love. And I had them sitting around for like a while. You know how you have like all those art supplies you want to use and you bought for yourself, but like they've been sitting around and you finally like find them again or you're like, you know what? That's been staring at me for long enough. It's about time I use it. So this is the excuse for using them. They're magnetic. A few moments later. All right, and now for the most nerve wracking part, which is painting it in. So right now, what I'm trying to do is, you know, on the photo of the peacock spider that I chose, you can see that on top of his head, there's this sort of black gold fuzz. His fuzz is like black gold with it. And so I'm just first coloring in with the black and I kind of want to fade it into the gold. So I'm using orange and as a base color and black fading into orange. So yeah, and I'm just trying to now go in with some gold and I'm not really a fan of that so I'm going in a little darker so that the gold the gold accent that I'm gonna put on is it's going to stand out more so and see now I'm going in trying to replicate that replicate that fuzz sort of thing and I'm going in now with a, gl a golden glitter gouache because I found that the watercolors well it's not gouache so it's not so opaque and I realize I need an opaque sort of thing so now we're moving on to the skirt and like I said the skirt is um is supposed to be like looking like you know the fuzz on the, I don't know this spider is so fuzzy of uh, the fuzz on the spider's leg so it's black and white well, not black and white it's like a, ni a nice white and like this sort of brown so i first um i tried to do it with like a fuzzy skirt you saw me before but it wasn't it didn't look good so my second choice about the skirt was to do this like on the strings so i don't know what they're called leave me a comment what 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 this type of skirt is called but it's like with the with the string maybe i'll put it on the screen but yeah that's what i tried to do and now i'm going in darker again um on the torso because i realized that the gold 
um, accent things like the, the fuzz <laughs> was not popping up. So now I'm just doing the same thing to the feet and to the legs and I'm gonna color in my boots purple and you'll see why really soon. I want to do a bit explaining of just the thought process behind this spider sona. So apparently peacock spiders do not have any silk, so but they can jump really high. I can jump from one place to another so I don't need silk. And with the dancing part, so this spider sona actually has a cape and when it's down like it is now it's dark so you don't really see the design but when i jump in the air the cape flies out above me it just like with the with the peacock spider when they do their dance and it's and basically it's it's just gonna like look like the peacock spider and it's gonna have the same design on the back as the peacock um spider has and another thing is that with the dancing part i guess i dance over my enemies dead bodies i don't know if that's like a morbid thing but sure why not like i'll just dance over my enemies bodies leave my fingerprints around and they'd be like oh no scary right? <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Does that help? Yeah. I don't have a master at least. Can I? How about you do half and then you... I'm not even done. I'm not even did a little. I did... That's okay. Not okay. Not okay. Not and cartridge. Ouch. I got an egg. But I got an ink box. Like you hold it and you press down, right? And it's supposed to open more. Do it on the other side of it. There's no ink, genius. <laughs> and it might take a few minutes, by the way. It's also dry, look. I don't think- Maybe the other one is, because I saw a bubble. One eternity later. Oh, it goes in and that pushes. I got it. Anyway, so this spider sona pose that I'm drawing right now is actually one of two in this video. So if you think this is coming along really awesome and you're really enjoying this, just wait until you see the next one because the next one is like so good. And also, while you're at it, thank you so much for watching until this point. If you could please support this small channel with a thumbs up and a subscribe, that would be just spectacular. Thank you so much. For my spider sign that I wrote, I really like this one that I saw in somebody else's spider sona. So this drawing took me around three to four hours after which I completely conked out. The next day. We're starting on number two, woo -hoo! So this is going to be a more dynamic pose in the first one and you'll be able to see how the whole costume works in action. This is actually, this sketch took me much, much faster than the first one. It, even though it was more dynamic and I found this photo off of Pinterest just look up dynamic female poses and you'll find the perfect one for your spider sona so we're about 20 minutes into the challenge because obviously by the time I woke up by the time I got dressed by the time I ate breakfast and by the time I started on this yes 20 hours did pass so <laughs> honestly I kind of had to push myself into doing it you know you feel tired of doing something for like a while and you kind of like can't really celebrate your fulfillment because you have to jump into something else right and after just drawing for hours on end like hours literally you just sit down and you you just do it you get tired right and just having to do it again sort of was like oh but you know i was gonna push through we're gonna push through we can do this together but looking back, you generally don't regret when you do push yourself. So it's just that process of getting into the zone and sitting down that takes a lot of effort, at least on my part. But then like the more you, the more you, I guess, are doing whatever you're doing, um, the more like you gradually get into the zone and then you just get lost in what you're drawing and, or painting or whatever. 
So this drawing it took me a lot faster in general than the first because when you do something the second time, usually usually you get it done faster because you're more used to already. Like you know what you're doing more. It's less experimental and it's more like, okay, this worked on the last one. I'm not going to remake those mistakes, so you don't. And then you just kind of like it goes from there. Like it just builds up and I'm actually really satisfied with how this turns out and I can't wait um, until you see how we color in the cape. It turned out so good! Okay, so now I'm just like drawing in uh, the skirt and I'm putting in more reds, which is what I actually liked much more, uh, more in the previous one, but I didn't put enough. And I'm... And my process for drawing in the, the suit itself underneath the skirt is way different than the per than the previous one. I'm sort of drawing every painting. Sorry, I keep saying paint drawing. I mean painting. I keep painting everything in this. Um, I want, I try to paint everything in simultaneously this time instead of like first the torso, finish the torso, then go on to the legs. Cause then that kind of like creates this sort of disconnect, I guess. And it's much harder to sort of to match. Um, both parts of the suit. Another thing I did differently on this figure than the previous one that we drew is um, I started, I added in more shadows on the torso because it's such an action sort of pose. Um, you need shadows, right? To kind of make it 3D. And I'm going in again with that metallic purple. I'm really, I tried using metallics. I think this is the most amount of metallics um, we've used in, in, one, in one drawing so far on this channel. And I actually, I really like the metallics. What do you think? Give me a like if you think so too. And now we're moving into my favorite part, which is drawing the cape. And it, it brings everything together. Just this is the moment where I'm like, my vision is starting to come together, finally. I'm not going in right away with the metallics on this cape. I'm first making a base layer of just purple watercolors, orange watercolors, and blue, and like the black, of course. Um, so that there's like this sort of base layer and it's not just the metallics and it, it kind of like gives them more vibrance I think I, I don't know if it really makes much of a difference but this is the approach I took to sort of sketch out um, where where my metallic colors are gonna go and it gives that that sort of like like you, you get that idea of how it's going to look Sometimes you still get those moments where you sort of trip up um, No matter how many times you practice like I did with the hair I realized I didn't leave a space to put there, but it's okay. We'll figure that out later So now I'm going in once again with the inking. So we're we're reaching the end like this is this is so awesome like round of applause to you and to both of us really for just sticking through with this challenge Can I ask you a favor? Could you please, please comment down below which spider you would choose for your spider Sona if you were a spider person? Every single time you comment, the algorithm, it just pushes the video out farther. And I, I really, it really, that, that would be amazing if you could do that. Thank you so much. If this whole thing were real, would you actually want to become a spider person and like save people? Like you're someone else's hero. But you don't have to have superpowers to be a superhero. There's a, so many things you can and already are doing that just these small things that can impact someone, someone else, and yourself. Did we succeed to complete this challenge in 48 hours? Well, frankly, I have no idea. The timer just conked out somewhere in the middle, but I definitely know it took me two days. So what do you say? Was this the one and only art challenge that got rid of your art block and will be certain to keep you inspired for the rest of your art making days? Well, maybe, but <laughs> there's one thing I do know for certain. It's that this challenge was really tiring, so I'm gonna go to bed.